What is going on, sixpackabs.com? It's Thomas DeLauer, your lead nutritionist and the creator of Science Based Six Pack. And today, I wanna give you a little bit of training slash nutrition knowledge. I'm gonna break down why your spleen and your lymphatic system, yes, your immune system, is playing a significantly larger role when it comes down to how much fat you burn and how fast you get six pack abs than you thought. So what I have to address here is what the lymphatic system is to begin with. Maybe you've heard of your lymph nodes before. You've heard of them like in your throat, maybe you've heard of them in your groin or in your armpits. You've heard your doctor talk about it, but what really is it? Okay, the lymphatic system is a series of vessels throughout the body that carry a fluid known as lymph. Now lymph is a clear fluid that really carries your red blood cells, but mostly carries your white blood cells to different parts of the body. It's the job of this lymph fluid to ultimately bathe cells and give them a lot of nourishment, give them different nutrients, give them different minerals. But the even more important job of the lymph is to actually detect and clear out toxins from those cells so that the body can move them and process them and eventually get them out of the body. But there is a secondary thing that the lymph fluid does that a lot of people don't really think about. And that's the fact that it is a primary transport system for the fatty acids in our bodies. You see, so many people think that fatty acids are floating around in the bloodstream, meaning we get fat moving or burning fat and it's moving through the blood. Well, that's partially true because eventually fat does hit the bloodstream and it does hit the cell that way, but fatty acids are transported predominantly through the lymph fluid. You see, that lymph fluid, the immune system fluid that nobody gives credit to, actually moves the fatty acids to the liver where they can ultimately be processed. Now, studies have shown that if the lymph system is not moving well and if the lymph system is not accurately performing the way that it should, it's not going to be able to move the lymph or what needs to be moved to the liver properly or in time, therefore making it so that you accumulate more fat in the abdomen or surrounding the liver. Not a good thing. Definitely standing in the way of getting abs. But let's talk a little bit more about the spleen since I mentioned that at the beginning of this video. What is the spleen anyway? We joke about someone getting hit in the spleen or we joke about someone getting their spleen yanked out, but really, what is it? You see, the spleen is actually a relatively large organ that's on the left side of your body on top of your kidneys. And what it essentially does is it really is what modulates the lymph system to begin with. You see, it's the largest organ when it comes down to the lymph system. And it's the job of that spleen to filter the blood and detect when something is wrong. Now that spleen will tell the rest of the lymph system to produce more macrophages, produce more white blood cells, and possibly modulate how many red blood cells are flowing around. Well, what does this mean? Well, it basically dictates whether or not you're gonna be fighting an infection or not. So that's one part of the lymph system, but we have another part too. Have you ever heard of your tonsils or heard of your thymus before? You've probably heard of your tonsils because people, again, they joke about people getting their tonsils removed. Not something you want to have happen, but it isn't exactly the most critical part of your immune system. Essentially, tonsils are another thing that regulate what your immune system does when it sees different things coming in through your nose and your mouth. So basically, it's all this system that we have to pay attention to. Have you ever had swollen glands like in your throat or anything like that? You go to the doctor, you get strep throat, you get a cold, you get the flu, and your glands get all swollen? The whole idea behind that, they're getting swollen because the lymph is flowing through them and the infection is getting caught up in the lymph nodes, causing them to swell. They're also producing more white blood cells, so they're engorged so that they can produce more. Now, what does this have to do with fat loss? Well, when your immune system is taxed or when you're unhealthy, a lot of times your lymph system isn't moving very well. It's trying to, but it's overwhelmed. It has a lot going on. So that means it has a hard time mobilizing the fat throughout the lymph to be able to get to the liver to ultimately be burned. Now, this video isn't just about saying, be healthy so that your lymph is healthy so that you burn fat. Come on, I've got more depth than that. I wanna tell you the main thing that you need to be paying attention to when it comes down to your lymph system and burning fat and getting abs. What we have to remember is the lymphatic system is not the circulatory system. Our circulatory system, our arteries, our veins, our capillaries, our subcapillaries, all of that is moved by the heart, okay? We have a muscle that moves blood. We could be lying stone cold on the ground, quite frankly, even passed out, and our heart is still gonna be dictating how much blood is moved throughout the body. We have an involuntary system that is part of the parasympathetic nervous system to make that happen, okay? The lymphatic system needs movement. It needs the muscles to contract, particularly that eccentric and concentric contraction, the expansion and contraction that we get when we're weight training. That moves lymph. Well, let me tell you something. If you're going into the gym and you're training one particular muscle group, let's say you just go in there and you obliterate your chest or obliterate your biceps, 
You know what that pump is? That pump is not blood. That pump is mostly lymph that you're pooling up into the area. Well, do the math. That's not very good. You're not moving that lymph throughout the body, so it's never getting to the liver to be able to be burned or to ever have the fat be burned. So what do you want to do? You want to train upper and lower body splits whenever possible. So that means you're going to go into the gym, you might do some squats, and then you're going to jump up and you're going to do some bench press. Then you're going to go down, you're going to do some hamstring curls, and then you're going to do some curls. It's all this movement, upper and lower, that we need to have to constantly keep the lymphatic system moving to get the free fatty acids mobilized into the liver so they can be burned and you can get the body that you want. But a lot of people don't want to tell you that because it's a little bit more difficult to do and most people just want to avoid anything that's difficult. The other thing that you need to make sure that you're doing in order to get the fat to the liver to be burned is drinking a ton of water and put a little bit of lemon in it. Why? Because the lymphatic system is 95% water. And if you don't have enough hydration in your body, that lymphatic system, that lymph fluid gets more viscous. It becomes like oil. It doesn't move as well and it requires more energy to have it be moved. So stay hydrated, it moves faster, the liver can process more fat and you get leaner. The lemon juice, well, that just adds to the mineralization aspect, meaning you're able to absorb more minerals, you're able to help out the body a little bit more. Another thing you can do is take digestive enzymes, particularly proteolytic enzymes. We're talking about things like bromelain, like papain, things that are gonna help you digest proteins. Not only do they help the protein get into the system more, but they also help the body break down toxins into the lymph, so the lymph can process it that much easier. Okay, now let me end all of this with a study so that you understand exactly what I'm talking about and so that everything makes sense when I say that lymph equals fat burning. This particular study was published in the Journal of Physiology and they looked at mice that were obese and they separated them into two groups. One group of obese mice they made run on treadmills for 30 minutes, five to six days per week. The other group of obese mice, they just let them hang out and chill and do whatever obese mice do. But what they did is they monitored their lymphatic activity. And after a period of time, they found that the mice that were moving, the mice that were actually doing cardio, had dramatic improvements in lymphatic vessel activity, and they also had increased toxin deliverability to the liver, basically meaning they were able to process more toxins and ultimately burn more fat. Whereas the sedentary mice ended up just, again, doing whatever sedentary obese mice do with no change in their lymphatic system whatsoever. Now granted, there wasn't much change in their body mass index and in their body fat, but it was too short of a study to ultimately look at that. The simple point is, guys, if you wanna get abs, you gotta get moving. You can't go to the gym and just train your biceps, and you can't get away with eating like garbage that your body's just gonna load up with toxins from. Take care of your body, upper and lower splits, get that water in you, and as always, keep it locked in here on sixpackabs.com. I'll see you soon.